in the next few weeks, we are going to talk about structural design of tension members and steel connections. And specifically, we're going to talk about the three main failure modes, which are given to you in the FE handbook under the civil engineering chapter. And these are yielding, rupture, and block shear. Today, we are going to focus on yielding. The condition for yielding is Pn equals to Fy times Ag, where Fy is the yield strength of steel and Ag is the gross cross-sectional area. Let's go ahead and work on an example. The sketch shown represents the end of a double angle steel tension member with holes for a bolted connection. Yield strength of the steel is 50 ksi, ultimate tensile strength is 65 ksi, the gross cross-sectional area of the two angles together is 2.88 inches squared. Holes are punched 13 over 16 diameter for three-quarter inch bolts. What is the design strength for yield? So I'll go ahead and write the equation for yield as we just saw in the FE handbook. So the equation was telling us that Pn equals to Fy times Ag. And we are giving the Fy in the problem, yield strength of steel is 50 ksi. And Ag, gross cross-sectional area, it's also given to us in the problem and it is 2.88 inches squared. Now I want us to focus on what the problem is asking us to calculate. The problem is asking uh, to calculate the design strength for yield. And I want you to pay attention to this because the design strength for yield when you hear the word design, that means we need to calculate the reduced strength or yield, which means we have to calculate phi Pn. Based on the FE handbook, phi is given to you under the yielding as 0 0.9. So now we can go back and calculate phi Pn, the design strength for yield which is going to be equal to 0 0.9 multiplied by Fy times Ag. And this is equal to 0 0.9 times 50 ksi or kips per square inches times Ag, which is 2.88 inches squared. And we get, if you do the math, you should get 129.6, 129.6 kips. And this gives me that the design strength for yield is equal to approximately 130 kips. And the correct answer is C. As you can see, this is not a very complicated problem. We just have to pay attention at what the problem is asking you to calculate. And that's going to be it for today. I'm going to keep this short because my voice is still recovering. And hopefully by next week, I'm going to sound completely as myself again. So hopefully you have a great week. Keep up the work on practicing the FE problems. And I'll see you next week.